Hi, Sheriff. Hey, Narissa. Hi, Narissa. Let's see what info she has for us. Have a seat. Yeah. Right down there works. I mean, there's no other seats anyway, so... Not like she had a choice. At least we can do interviews. That's not too taxing on our body right now. I... Um... Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... You know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> yeah, no need to worry. We'll, we'll live. Which is really what matters. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Shoreth. Picky about your cigarettes, huh? Um. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me. Sending me the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? So they are under a spell. What I mean is... I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... Mm. Might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. If I could okay, answer that's not just working. like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No. I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Hmm... You can trust me. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. You're gonna look after our friends. You... Look around you. Are you telling me my friends are involved? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. Oh, come on, Narissa. I need you to know. I want to help, but... But... Your lips are sealed. Take it's your okay. time, though. Take your time. We don't have to rush here. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. You're not. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's a nice ribbon. It was... It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Hmm. Could we take off the ribbon? Or will that slice your neck clean off? I hope it doesn't... Ah, uh, I'm afraid that will kill her though. That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! I feel like that will kill you her. You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. 
I didn't I didn't do anything right. Could have tried to remove it, but it didn't. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons if you take them off, you die. It's okay. We're here for you as best as we can. If anyone finds out I came here, Probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, sure. Thing. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank Maybe. you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. Beauty and the Beast, that's her next lead, and it's a good one. I, I feel like I can that trust Nerissa. That was... abrupt? It's one way to send a message. We definitely need to talk you? to Beauty and Beast. I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Mm, and they're Nerissa pointed us there, so we should follow what's it. Been going on. That's what Nerissa was doing. Telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. So, yeah. let's go. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. The Crooked Man. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We I need to solve did. this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Okay, Snow. We'll see Beauty and the Beast. Alright. Their apartment should be around here then. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. Let's just knock. Our body is weak, so we shouldn't kick oh. it down. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? So Listen, it was Beauty. I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. I'm not the marriage counselor, okay? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get Beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? Don't be dramatic. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. Well, I'll just have a quick look around then. Mm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. 
pretty tell you're going to make a problem. Yeah, certainly seems that way. We don't need to bring him into this. See what we can uh, I just don't think we can see over him. here. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping mm. secrets for you. Mm. Talk about living in the past. Yeah, that definitely that? isn't uh, what they're we like now. This out. All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. We didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money and mm. answer. That's a weak That's earn. I they're talking about money issues. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. Fine. Anything else I can check out? Talk. I don't see anything else. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Yep, we need info. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then I just, just need to tell info. me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like. Like me? Hmm? Is that what you're trying to say? If you just have to live like Bigby? You need to live within your means. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and hey, we can't come to the phone right here. now, so I leave should... a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Yeah, I need to know who was that. They should know. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Are you sure it's I'm safety and they're still not talking at all? The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see mm. now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. 
I guess he's hit hard the times too. Ex. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Yeah, I guess that's maybe if you still go not back, really what you should do sort though. Some things out. Lone shark. Yes, I'll go really check out idea. the lucky pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... How will I get her in trouble? You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. Oh. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. So that's what we found in the witch's you have office. To us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry fillet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How mm. did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know, I... I try to avoid her, but I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If yeah, Mary our last meeting was there, not really great. I need to look into it. But those are two leads I we have now. I wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. I'm scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. You just need to face reality. No, probably not. But I guess I probably so, don't need to So, where are you understand. going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Where do we go? That's a good question. You have some choices. We can go to the Lucky Pawn. Or we can go to the Butcher Shop. The Butcher Shop has the packages. And we saw one of those packages back over in um, in Auntie Greenleaf's house. So that could be a pretty good place. Lucky Pawn. But yeah, if we go to the Butcher Shop. I feel like that has a higher chance of going south. Because... Why are you coming there? Like, that has less logic to it. Like, you can go to a pawn shop at any time. Hmm. I don't know. I think... We'll go for... I'll go for the butcher shop, because I really want to know what it's all about, those packages. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby. Once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Yep, that's a risk, but it's a risk Wait, we'll have to take. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? Help you how? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it what do you say can you help us out you're asking me to kill him aren't you is that what you think i do uh, no of course not i don't know how you get that idea we just we know that the crooked man is dangerous to all of fable town i'm gonna do my job lucky they were you, totally that blind might out. just solve your problems anyway oh thank you big b I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I'm not sure I like their attitude.